sit at home, CNN volunteers to rescue Southeast and warns Simon Epper. Has the long-awaited rescue of the Southeast from the sit at home directive of Simon Epper come at last? While it may seem so, going by the latest developments in the region, warning Epper to be ready to ready for the consequences should he fail uh, to stop the sit at home order. CNN acronym for Concerned Nigerian Network. You really thought it was the actual CNN. Can you imagine? They they played me. Uh, took the initiative to tell the indigenous people of Biafra leader Simon Ekwa to stop the sit at home order. They did so via President Mr. James Ereboye, who was reacting to the insecure development in the southeast caused by members of the group. Can we please, like, correct the narrative? And this is why I'm literally saying they they need to leave alone Jim alone because that man is going through stress i personally believe that this is because he is the one who has come out to debunk he's always coming out to debunk all these things i pop are not the one causing the insecurity and the unrest you know in the southeast right because yes if there's a sit at home then who is who is being violent to who because technically we should all be at home so the thing is i really don't understand because the narrative that's being pushed out there is stronger than the narrative that the IPOB um, would like to um, promote themselves. And so this is why I'm saying that IPOB really needs to sort out the media stuff out. And, you know, because they need to find a way to basically beat propaganda that's, you know, against them. Because I, I in the past, since when IPOB has started, when have they ever been able to curb negative, you know, news about them, right? It's a thing of those that know, know. But the fact is that people are being influenced with especially, you know, strong uh, media corporations in Nigeria spreading narratives about how, you know, the egos are just causing mayhem, Right? Are these people who just want to leave? These are successionists. They're just violent. They, it's like they want their way or the highway. This is the narrative that is being pushed about these individuals. And I'm like, first of all, it's so easy because any unrest, anything that is violent in the South is IPOB. IPOB, IPOB must be the one. And it's like, whilst there's the ongoing case of, you know, um, Inam Dikano still being, you know, detained, you now have the legal counsel stressing out Whilst being the legal counsel for um, Inamricano and also um, and also IPOB itself as a corporation and as the organization itself, he now has to be the media secretary and, you know, basically sort of counteract the, the bad publicity being spread about them. And it's a bit like, wait, how long will that go on for? They need a team that is more effective because, sorry, if they don't do very well in counteracting all these things being said about them, then people will most likely believe what they, you know, what is being told to them. And you might even see violence against egos because there'll be a narrative that these people just want to hurt you because eventually that's where the narrative is going to go, which is a problem in itself. And you obviously have Simon Ekpa who is not even in the country, but sort of holding it down. And, you know, the CNN founder is also giving a warning to Simon Ekba and saying that himself and the collaborators of the sit at home would face the consequences of the crisis already afflicting uh, the region, denying it and the nation peace. And I'm like, oh, my God, if there is a sit at home order, the people should be at home. Right. Um, and then... I think that's what also makes me question the IPOP movement itself because, you know, I I really don't understand because for the people to agree to this and do this, okay, great. But I also think that there's a lot of problems, right? And I think for IPOP, they just need to be very careful. I mean, not that they have to be careful because anything that they do that is any bad news that comes from the southeast is already looking towards ipop as the cause the sole cause of whatever is going on over whatever bad thing you know is going on let's look at the comments 
go and tell Tinubu to release MNK and the seat at home will stop. Wow. Since they're holding Mazi Namdekano um, in the DSS dungeon, have you said anything about his release? Because basically, that's basically the essence or the um, the motivation behind the sit at home order because they want the release. But if it's a sit at home, it's basically a peaceful process. The only thing it's going to affect is basically economic activity, which is fair enough to bring up. But saying that, you know, violence and all that, yeah, come on, come on. That just does not make sense. Um, and to be honest, you know, a lot of things are happening. That's how security forces, regardless, in a lot of other countries, first world countries, any, it is a protest going on. The police is like their job, regardless, to always protect the people. So it makes me wonder what security is like, regardless, anyways, because you know, you even have people or stories of um, um, security officers in prisons having to beg prisoners for transport fare home. <laughs> Listen, if they sit at home order, everyone should be at home. Whoever is outside hurting people, and I think, to be honest, the IPO movement is a very strong one regardless because the people have agreed to do it. Um, and those that stay at home, stay at home for a purpose. But regardless, you know, there's so many issues to talk about and it's overwhelming. Put what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.